I love music and uh, it's very, very important to me. Well, I just enjoy the camaraderie more than anything, you know, just people from diverse backgrounds coming together for a united purpose to make music. It's a great outlet for me. I love being part of a group, so it's a lot of fun. The group really feels like a family environment, so this is just a wonderful way to do something that I love. So when coronavirus first came out, we really didn't know the impact that it had, would have on choirs. And so the choir in Washington had a rehearsal. Uh, 52 people within, I think, the next week uh, came down with symptoms, and then two of those, those singers died. Everybody canceled. Um, schools canceled, you know, their choir programs. Um, all of the colleges and universities canceled as well. <laughs> almost burst into tears. I was very sad. I didn't think it was going to be this long and um, I thought well, well we'll do this for a couple weeks and then we'll go back and it didn't work out. We tried a virtual choir and the end result was really good but I think what we missed was hearing other parts singing and that, that harmonizing and being together and making music. New guidelines have come out and it says the safest way to sing is to still be six and a half feet apart wearing a mask outside. So I thought maybe we could just get together and have a sing-along and make some music. I was really glad to finally be able to meet up with everyone again, go through the music again. It's just fantastic to see everybody again. I think it went excellent. It was great to see everybody. Uh, it was great to sing. It's, it's really something that we can build on. It's hard being spaced out a little bit. And for me, breathing in when you had to take a deep breath, you kind of breathe in mask a little bit. Um, but otherwise, it was just good to sing the songs. It wasn't weird singing with a mask at all. In fact, uh, I got over that in about three seconds.